things as a main material, and it allows us to define, design new architectures that are not possible to achieve with conventional casting process. So the idea is that with this 3D printing process, we can control the properties of the structure and different directions of testing that we are doing. So our research is focused on small scale testing and analysis. You can see around the world there are different uh, applications with concrete or cement base, but are in larger scale. So for now, I want you to focus on this is a small scale uh, research. So this uh, 3D printing process uh, takes us to the question that we are to answer today, that is how the 3D printed cement based samples perform different than cast control samples in compression behavior. You can see on your left, on your right, what is the compressive strain, what is the compressive test that we are performing. So, this main question can be divided into three questions. How the age of the different 3D printed samples and the casted samples are, go are going to affect the behavior. How the architectures used, you can see one of them, can affect this behavior. And finally, how the different printing parameters that we are using is going to also affect these different changes in the behavior. At the end, everything is going to be summarized in a compressive strain chart. So here are some key concepts related to printing process in order to understand, to, order, to understand better what I'm doing. One of them is the material processing. As we are using cement space, it's a very complex uh, powder that it changes the heat properties with time and with wire, and depending on which additives we use, it's going to behave different. So we get to, we need to know exactly what we are putting into the cement plates in order to see what is its behavior. So to be able to print, as we were watching before, the 3D printer is a system of different uh, parts, a printer, a tubing system. Uh, you can see in the upper picture a uh, syringe Oscar was talking about it. We need to put that into together, and everything is controlled by a software, which should define the parameters of the of the different samples that we want to test and control the different architectures. <coughs> then we want to also focus on the compressive strain as our main goal, but also study the hydration kinetics that is happening in the interior of the cement base. As uh, the cement paste and the water, the cement powder and the water are going to react and generate, and generate heat in its interior. We need to know how does that heat is going to affect the behavior later on and how dry is going to be the samples, how, how time and how much time do we need to, to print a sample of these characteristics. So you can see pictures of each one of the tests that I'm talking today about. So the methodology used for this project, we need to program each one of the samples, both for printing and for testing. We need to know when are we going to print and when are we going to test that, because it can take several days in order to get a result. We need to prepare the cement paste that we are using. And we also, as we showed you before, we need to print that with the defined architecture. After that, we're going to perform each one of the three tests that we're interested in. So here you can see a little representation of how the three different speeds that we are using to print in right now are working. You can see how going from 250 millimeters per minute to 1,000 millimeters per minute as our maximum speed achieved. Here you can see how the compressive test is performed and how we study the origin effect, the architecture effect, and the speed as an improvement for the printing window. If we can print faster, we can print more amounts of cement in the same period of time. Uh, so also we support our results on the visual information that we obtain for each one of the samples. So we can detect cracks and how is the the shape of this page of the sample after it's tested. So you can see later that some of them are going to completely be destroyed and some of them are going to call it shape. 
So here, finally, you can see what are the results of this, uh, of this uh, research. You can see here, I'm summarizing how the casted samples perform. How You can see how all of them are, look like the same behavior uh, long time, where you can get a peak, a high peak, and a, a rapid decrease of, of the strain of chain. Here, you can see how the edge, the 3D printed sample behave. You can see a difference, uh, evident difference between the printed and the casted samples. So here I show you one of them. So you can see casted samples can achieve more load, can can bear more load, but at the same time printed samples we are obtaining more strain, which means that the printed samples are going to be able to deform more with loads and we're going to are going to hold its shape for longer time. Meanwhile, the casted samples are going to just destroy and nothing is going to be uh, useful from that samples. So here, you can see how are the effects. That's what I'm talking about. You can see the picture of a casted sample. It's completely destroyed and it doesn't have a pattern, a, a regular pattern. Meanwhile, you can see how one architecture used is going to hold its shape after the testing. So, also happens with a different architecture which changes the degree of each layer between uh, 0 degrees and 90 degrees. So, finally, you can see some of the architectures that won't behave as well as the first two I'm showing you here. So, the idea is to show, to look what are the architecture that are useful for party research and how we can the, develop those architectures to different purposes. So finally, we have the effect of the print, printing speed. So you can see this is the default speed we are using for testing right now, which is 250 millimeters per minute. And how uh, we have as reference, I forgot, on black, you can see the lines on black are the reference for cast samples. So you can see how is the behavior of 500 and for 1,000. Uh, we need to do further research in this topic in order to generalize these results of this particular graph so we can determine which is the best uh, printing speed for the process. So some of the future work, as mentioned by Oscar and for me, the properties that we want to extend are the flexural and the tensile properties. We want to study how we're going to how these samples are going to behave, not in compressive uh, strain tests, but also in tests of flexural. Uh, we want to improve that printing window, that's why we focus on the printing speed, and how other parameters are going to affect the shape holding, which is the ability to uh, hold by itself. If the, we print a filament in the space, if it's going to be able to hold, hold by itself. And finally, uh, study the, the possibility to print with two or more materials, add some plastic polymer, gel polymers to the cement phase in order to get better results. So I have to thank all of the grad students I work on, especially Reza, and you can see here some of them, and my advisor which have, have put a lot of uh, time and effort to be able to this project. So thank you also to you for and thank you from Diego for giving me this opportunity and only I really wanted to see her here but I know she is very proud of everybody. So Christian Is it a thinking in your work? Yeah, that's 
I mean, that's something that has been done previously of my work, of the scope of my work. So uh, this actual, the current uh, cement phase, the properties of it have been studied in order to make it flow. Sometimes we present difficulties with the star clocks in it, or in the tubing system, but it's not a regular thing. Uh, the means is designed to flow through the tubing system, and then when it's printed, it's going to become solid faster. It's a property of the material right now. Okay, thank you. Please. Uh, congratulations, Fabian. It's very interesting uh, research project. I think it's very important for the resilience of materials, especially for the earthquakes. Maybe in the future, the mechanic properties of our construction are changing and now are changing. And I have a question which is direct in writing. If I'm shooting that it's possible to print in CMC, ceramic uh, matrix composites, for example, with fibers, maybe, and well, you change the... the yeah, the good thing about this project is that allows us to integrate, as you can, uh, you were saying, fibers, other materials. As you can see, it's, a, it's part of the future work to first study the properties of the cement paint by itself, and then ex extend this uh, research to different add, to different additives as fibers, other kind of materials, other additives for behavior. So. Yeah, it's it's an open it's an open window to include more materials or more fibers. And it's an open window for you. Maybe in the future, you can do this with the professor of English. But uh, congratulations! It's very interesting process that you are doing here. Thank you. So. Hi, Fabian. Uh, congratulations for your presentation. So, uh, something that really got my mind when I first saw your project was that, like, with these kind of arrangements, you could uh, control both the direction and the velocity of, of the cracks, or when, when you are doing the, the, the tensile uh, or, or rather the, the, the beast test to. To, to check like uh, how how is the crack uh, forming and how is the the, the um, like your piece how is it gonna break and and in, ha, have you have you tested this already or or is it not in your plans? Well, what what we have seen so far is with the picture that we take with the high resolution camera, we can see how step by step the crack is forming and we can see that they form in the filament, in the union of the filaments. So we can have an hypothesis of where I, uh, we have to, we can, we can, uh, we don't need to guess where are going to appear. We can have a sense of where are we going to appear and when, and in which direction. So that's the advantage of the 3D printing, that you can, it's uh, printing filaments and those filaments are the are going to determine where it's going to break, in the, the, depending on how we print them. That's an important part. Okay, thank you.